Hi, I'm Colin, Director of Marketing and today's host of BRS TV. This week we are going to show you all the cool new tanks at the BRS office. This is my new Elo System 100 I'm pretty stoked about. I've already got some sweet snowflake clowns, a couple corals, and my favorites, the Antheus. This is actually my first tank and I'm super excited about all the help I'm getting from all the guys in customer service. These guys all know their stuff and I absolutely can't wait to see how their tanks turn out. My name is Andy. I'm the customer service manager here at BRS. I'm Ryan R.T. Turner. My name is Charlie. My name is Nick. My name is Jason. I'm a customer service representative here. And I've been here for about six months. About one year. About two and a half years. Been in the saltwater hobby about two years. Uh, aquarium is about five or six. I've been doing the fish thing probably now for 10 years. Four or five years now. Over 20 years. I've been in reefing since I was a little kid actually started when I was about four years old with my dad. This is the Elos Mini, which is a 20 gallon rimless cube. This is a Vertex. It's a two by two by two 60 gallon cube tank. It's a 60 gallon Vertex tank. A 60 gallon cube tank with a Vertex stand. Um, we got the Elos Mini tank here. It's a 36 gallon. Uh, I've got some, uh, some good plans for it. I'm actually going to be doing a mixed reef. Small pulp, stony corals, and zoanthids. Softy, LPS, easy to care for. I'm starting non-photosynthetic tank, uh, mainly Tubistrea, uh, Rhizotrochus, Dendronephia, and some Gargonians. I'm going to be running the Zeovit method, um, going for pastel colors and uh, ultra-low nutrient tank. Balling method by uh, Fauna Marin, um, some of their trace element additives mixed in there. I'm going to be using the Red Sea additives. I have the uh, brine shrimp reactor and a plankton reactor so I can you know, basically feed by hand either, either baby brine shrimp or plankton. And then I also have the power supply for the light and the battery backup for the MP10s. Um, down below, I'm actually gonna have a mini fridge dosing system for automated dosing of frozen foods that need to be refrigerated, basically. It's just gonna be all automated so I don't need to worry about feeding on the weekend. The equipment I'm most excited about running would be the uh, Skim Skimmer. It's got a lot of really nice features. I'm going to try and see what she can do. I haven't used the Radeon yet. I'm excited about using those. The Omega 150 Skimmer should be a really good setup for this tank, so I can overfeed it a little bit, a little bit dirtier, and have the skimmer keep up with some of the filtration. Vertex Omega 130. I've got the uh, Libra Doser. I'm rocking the, uh, the uh, Tunes Osmolator. Also have a nice Phoenix heater down there. You'll see some probes in there from the uh, Apex Gold unit. Also running up above, I'm running the uh, Radeon Gen 3, which I'm really excited to play around with. We always get questions from customers, and it's nice having the actual products in our hands while we're explaining things to them. Uh, dimensions of stuff that would normally be in a box that we cannot open. We have them here so we can get dimensions. That's a big thing, and then tuning of skimmers, stuff like that. Being able to have one in your hands while you're explaining it makes the explanation process so much easier over the phone or emails. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Nakoda. We just started here and we're still brainstorming our future tanks. Help us out and give us a quick thumbs up and motivate Colin to hook us up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see how all these tanks turn out. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.